In this video we have an infinite series and the question is to determine if it converges or diverges and if it converges we want to find the sum. So this appears to be geometric. Um, geometric series have the following form a times a number r to the nth power or sometimes you can have it written as this a times r to the n minus 1. So stuff like that uh, would be considered geometric. So here we have an n minus 1 and an n minus 1, so we can use properties of exponents to write it as follows. This is the sum from 1 to infinity, and we can write this as negative 6 fifths to the n minus 1, you see, because that's they're both to the n minus 1 power, so you can make that, that algebraic move. And, and do that. So now we can identify r. You see r here is the number that's being raised to the power. So r is negative 6 over 5. So there's something called the geometric series test. So g s t. And the geometric series test says if r, which is called the common ratio by the way, if r is less than 1, then your geometric series will converge. So it converges. And if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, then your geometric series diverges. So here, if we take the absolute value of r, we're really taking the absolute value of negative 6 over 5. And that just makes it 6 over 5 which is certainly greater than or equal to 1. It's bigger than 1, but we can write greater than or equal to as well. Remember, greater than or equal to means greater than or equal to. So if something is greater than or equal to 1, so rather, if something is bigger than 1, it's certainly greater than or equal to 1. So you're allowed to use that notation. So diverges, diverges by the geometric series test. Really important to justify. This would be this would be the solution to the question, right? So this would be the answer. This is what you would want to write if you were taking this, uh, if maybe you're taking a class and you have a homework problem or you're studying. This would be uh, an acceptable answer, right? Because you're specifying the R, you're specifying the condition from the test, and then you're citing the test and the conclusion of the test. It diverges. Why? By what test? By the geometric series test. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.